I have 10,000 books at home, you know, maybe maybe 300 Asseline books. To me, there can't be anybody nearly as good as Asseline. There's no doubt about it. I mean, their books are beautiful, thoughtful, above and beyond their personalities. I mean, their personalities are incredible. You should see a, a meeting with me and them. And I'll talk to them, and I'll talk to them, for, and they listen very attentively, and I talk to them for 10, 15 minutes, blah, 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 and they look at each other. And then I stop talking, and then they talk to each other for about an hour in French, okay. in front of me. I don't understand one word, but they go on and on and on, and they explode. I'm like, oh, I don't care. Oh, oh, good. <laughs> you know, they, they just, and I say, what, do you, what are you talking about? No, oh, well, you'll find out. <laughs> But I really think of them as this, as this, uh, these people destined to to work, to to, to love each other, to, to to work together. I started my ad agency in 1960, the first week of 1960. That was the first time any ad agency in the world, any of any importance, had an art director in the masthead. So within two or three years, in the, in the mid-60s, it, it was a full-blown creative evolution. I say we started and we had it, and we were successful like that. There was always big articles in the New York Times in the advertising column, and they spoke about me and about the, the, the great advertising, uh, great visual uh, excitement, et cetera, et cetera. And, and Howell Hayes was at Esquire. Reading this, he called me up. I wonder if he could help me do better covers somehow. I said, okay, okay, I'll do it. I took a photograph of somebody who looks like Floyd Patterson and laid, showed him laying dead. And I sent him the cover. And he said, oh my God, but you're calling the fight against what everybody else says. Yeah. He said, you're crazy. I said, no, you're crazy because you're going to run it. Listed, destroyed him in the first round. And all of a sudden, Esquire, they were geniuses. He said, George, you gotta keep doing my covers, please. I said, sure, be, be a, a, an honor. So I did them for almost 10 years. Well, the Ali uh, St. Sebastian is the one that I, the kid fighting, I mean, it, and Harold uh, Hayes said, that's what made us iconic, that made the magazine iconic. Those years that, where I was doing the covers for them uh, are, are considered the golden age of journalism. A, an artist. I'm an artist, and anybody who says I'm not should take a look at my work. I think advertising is poison gas. You look at it, your head goes back a foot, your eyes tear, you cough a little bit, you're almost choked to death. That's advertising. It should knock you on your ass. You should see it, you should say something big is happening. Creativity can solve almost any problem. The creative act, the defeat of habit by originality, overcomes everything. Creativity can solve the world's problems. Asseline is French style.